what's going on YouTube welcome to another video whipping up some beef right now and some rice before I hit the gym it's Thursday currently got uh, some good news for y'all yesterday I went to the gym and I decided to deadlift again for the first time since I hurt my back two weeks ago just to see how it felt I ended up pulling 405 for one felt really good no pain at all thank God um, and then I did a few sets with 340 and then a set with 225, you know, light set, the kind of good reps just to try to work my back out, you know, make sure I gain that strength back before I just dive into getting back to those uh, big heavy numbers. So I was super excited to know that I'm able to deadlift with no pain, you know. Now I could feel like if I was to lose my form, I, I might would have felt a little bit of pain or something a little uncomfortable. So I made sure to keep my form as good as possible and I did a good job with that, didn't feel any pain. So we're just going to keep working with that good form like we have been you know and, and we're not going to let ourselves slip up again like we did last the other week when i hurt my back so um today we got legs i'm going to be squatting today pretty light because of my back as well i don't want to go too heavy you know when i get down and hold us when i would get the most back pain when i hurt my back so i'm going to make sure i keep it relatively light today and just do a lot of reps try to get a good pump today most of my workouts that i've been doing the last two weeks have been just to get pumped it has not been strength training at all. Mainly just been lighter weight with a crap ton of reps, just getting the crazy burn and a really good pump. And I've really been enjoying it really because it's been a good break from strength training, you know, just getting good pumps and feeling huge in the gym. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, hitting some legs. I'm gonna eat this beef and rice, take me some pre-workout, my alpha lime pre, and then we're gonna head to the gym. So I'll see y'all there. that's not good to be drinking three or four hundred milligrams of caffeine and not even feel nothing from it you know so i'm actually already starting to itch from from this pump stuff that alpha line has like in my face i can feel it right now just talking to you guys so uh, that's a really good thing i feel like pre-workout is more of like a mental thing and you like especially when you're addicted to it like i am your body just has to have it because you're just so addicted to it even if you're not getting any effects from it you know it's kind of like being addicted to other things you get so used to it that you don't get effects but your body still has to have it so i don't know like maybe this pump stuff will do me good not having caffeine and i'm still getting itches and whatnot maybe i can get away from the caffeine a little bit but anyways i'm gonna stop talking we're gonna get in the gym i think i'm gonna do some high rep sets some squat today pretty light and uh, just get a really good pump so i'm about to walk in now let's go Surprisingly, I feel freaking amazing with my flat feet. You know, I don't know if many of y'all know, but I stopped squatting with squat shoes or with elevated heels. I've been squatting flat footed. I've been feeling really good lately. I'm feeling great right now, no pain at all. So, I don't know. Let's just keep squatting and see what happens.
I had to really focus on keeping my back straight. You see on those last few reps, when it starts getting heavier and hard, your back wants to round a little bit. I could tell if I did that, it probably wasn't going to be very good. So we did really good keeping the back straight. Got six reps out. We're trying to knock out a few more sets with that. So here we go. Second set moved really good. The main thing is just running out of breath. I've been working in this heat all day, so it's got me freaking gassed, ripping out squats as always. So we're gonna knock it down to 225. I think I'm gonna do sets of 10 now. Try to get a better pump versus how 315 for six would do me. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna hit two more sets with that. All right, now that we got 225 on the bar. You guys are probably thinking, oh, this is he's going down. It's easy, but I'm telling y'all, anything squatting. It, over eight reps, eight to 10, 12 reps is freaking brutal. I don't care if you got 135 pounds on the bar, it's freaking rough. So we're gonna try to knock out 10 right here and just get a good pump. So let's do it. conservative with y'all today. We got White in the house. Yes, sir. He's benching. He decided to skip legs today so he could bench. <laughs> nah, I'm just picking. We got off our splits way off since I hurt my back and all. We just been on a different track. We're gonna get back at it next week, though. Yes, sir. But that was a successful squat session. We got Harrison in the building now. Right, hey. Former deadlift champ. But uh, yeah, a great squat session, no back pain. I'm really happy with that. Like I said earlier in a couple of my videos, I believe we'll be back to 100% in no time, within a week or two. So really excited about that. Let's keep pushing. Let's go get the rest of this pump, baby. So that wrapped up the workout. We hit a few more hamstring workouts afterwards that I didn't record. The gym started getting really crowded, but I did uh, leg curls and some RDLs with lightweight, you know, just getting a good burn and making sure my back's still good. Um, with the leg curls though, I was doing the ones where you sit down and your legs go up and you curl it back down instead of lay on your stomach. And I know after I hurt my back, I couldn't get my legs all the way up stretched out 
something like if I was sitting down. So we were able to do that today. So really good progress. No paint at all. Like I said, next week we should be, be back. Next week we should be back in the full swing of things, working our way back up. And uh, hopefully soon we'll be hitting some PRs. But yeah, squats went great. Super excited, super happy with how everything moved today, especially doing it flat footed. You know, everything feels just like it did before I hurt my back. So that's enough of me talking about me hurting my back. I'm gonna leave it in the past now. I just wanted to keep you guys updated. That way you knew how everything was going and uh, y'all know where I'm going in the future with this, you know, and where I'm at. So, but yeah, we're gonna leave that in the past. We're not talking about it no more. Let's keep getting better, grinding every day, staying positive and not letting those setbacks bring us down and hold us down. So we're gonna forget about it and we're gonna move on. So I'll be looking forward to seeing y'all in the next video. I think I'm gonna record my chest day tomorrow. I'm probably gonna go somewhere and work out, but we will see. So I appreciate y'all watching the video. I hope y'all will like and subscribe and we will see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all.